The Big Bend region of Texas is often described as magical. Here, the air feels charged with energy and the promise of excitement. And at over 800,000 acres, Big Bend National Park is an unbeatable location for seeking out unforgettable adventures. If adventure's what you're after, then it's time to strap on a life jacket and hit the river. Big Bend's name comes from its location on a bend in the Rio Grande River, which creates a natural border between Texas and Mexico. When you come out to Big Bend, no matter if uh, you're hiking, you're biking, you're rafting, you're doing a jeep tour, whatever you're doing, you come out here because you're, you want to commune with nature. A river tour is the perfect way to explore the canyon, either with a guide or on your own. Guided tours give you insight into the history of the area's ancient Native American and Spanish residents and teach you about the immense 1,500-foot canyon walls. If the stone walls pique your interest, then I recommend hiking in Grapevine Hills. The hike itself is peaceful and relaxing, allowing you to stroll through the scenery at your own pace. This is a, a short trail at only two miles in and out, and it's great for families, it's great for kids, and for, for the adult, it, it offers beautiful landscape, long views, and an opportunity to see something they might not see at home. What sets it apart from a typical nature trail is soon evident. Massive granite boulders fill the landscape. These boulders were once jagged blocks of granite, but the formations eroded over time, smoothing into the softer shapes you see today. As you travel the walking path, be sure to follow the signs to the window of boulders that form one of Grapevine Hill's best photo opportunities. After a day on the river or trails, it's time for a night on the town, a ghost town. Terlingua was a mining town until the end of World War I when it faded into obscurity. But it's not all quiet here. Originally an open-air theater, the Starlight Theater got its name because you could enjoy your night under millions of stars in the West Texas sky. It was created as a cultural epicenter for the town in 1933, and it's still the center of Terlingua's nightlife today. A lot of folks come out because there's not a lot of entertainment. There's no mall, there's no movie theaters, there's no bowling alley, so uh, folks come out a lot to see the music and, and to kind of mingle. Authentic meals like wild boar sausage and chicken fried antelope put a Texas twist on gourmet fare. Food is served seven nights a week and live music is always on the schedule. I think it's about time you take a look at your schedule and see just how soon you can get to Big Bend country. You can read about it all you want, but you'll never really get that sense of Big Bend or Terlingua until you uh, come out here and actually experience it. You can find it right here in Texas. It's like a whole other country.